Hello everyone, I am Manisha. I am here to explain a topic, hemoglobin, and I am from SBIFS Indore. First of all, what is hemoglobin? Hemoglobin made up of two words, heme and globin. Heme means iron and globin means globular protein. Hemoglobin contains two chains, two alpha chains and two beta chains. Alpha chains contains 141 amino acid and beta chains contains 146 amino acids. Hemoglobin is a red color pigment present in RBCs of blood. It is a conjugated protein and chromoprotein. It is made up of iron and protein and its molecular weight is 68,000. Hemoglobin is concave in shape. After that, I am explaining normal values of hemoglobin. The normal Hb of level. Fetus contains 16 to 18 gram per deciliter. Newborn babies contains 20 to 24 gram deciliter. The very important thing in this video is structure of hem hemoglobin. In the structure of hemoglobin, iron atom is present in the center and it, there, there is four porphyrin ring. What is porphyrin rings? Porphyrin rings is four pyrrol ring. This four pyrrol rings is connected with CH bond. The nitrogen atom of the pyrrol rings are coordinated with iron atom and iron is present in the center. There are various types of substituents are attached at the end of the pyrrol rings. These are methyl group and this is vinyl group and these are propionic acid groups. This is the this is the complete structure of hemoglobin. In the structure of hemoglobin, iron is present in the ferrous form, Fe2+. After that, we come to functions of hemoglobin. First, transport oxygen to tissues, transport carbon dioxide to lungs, maintain acid-base balance as a buffer. It means, हमारी body में lungs से oxygen आता है, hemoglobin में, hemoglobin molecules, oxygen bond with oxygen होता है, वो hemoglobin molecules के साथ अपना bond बनाता है. Then, oxygen जो release करता है, tissue से. Now, we talk about the oxygen, oxygen binding. It is also called oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. This graph me, ये बता रहा है, x axis denote कर रहा है partial pressure with oxygen and y axis denote कर रहा है saturation of hemoglobin. And this curve को हम बोलते हैं sigmoid curve. Now, अब है, अब हम इस graph को detail में explain करते हैं. As affinity of hemoglobin of O2 falls, graph shifted to right. इसमें ये बोल रहा है, अगर हमारी body में oxygen की की कमी होती है, और H plus ion का concentration ज़्यादा होता है, और carbon dioxide का भी concentration ज़्यादा होता है, तो हमारा जो sigmoid graph है, वो right side shift होता है. And this second point. As affinity of hemoglobin of O2 rise graph shifted to left. It means, अगर हमारी body में O2 की concentration ज़्यादा होती है और H plus ion, carbon dioxide and temperature कम होता है, तो sigmoid curve left side की तरफ shift होता है. In short, H plus ion concentration and carbon dioxide and temperature, ये तीनों चीज़े shifting में affect करती है. 